Hello and welcome back to a brand new video, the Euros are upon us and I'm gonna flash back to 2004 when Greece won the Euros against all odds, the ultimate underdog story beating Portugal in the final and I'm gonna see if I can win with a, with a Greek team, not a Portuguese team, with a Greek team in weekend league. This is a team, my front three is actually not that bad but the rest are pretty horrendous players, not good enough for a weekend league I think. Uh, I didn't buy Manolas because he was too expensive. On the bench I have one Greek player and a couple of Germans because uh, at the time Otto Reagel was the coach. So uh, that's why there are Germans. But without further ado, uh, let's get into Weekend League. Pretty obvious that my opponent has a better team. Meta defense, pretty good attack, but nothing too crazy. So I th really thought I could win this game. We get the first chance. Bakasetas who gets a foot on the ball but can't score so really was thinking I can get something and then the first chance he gets is a goal. That's just what happens when you use Mbappe and Neymar. Again Neymar threw on goal, no one in my defense fast enough to keep up with him. 2-0 so uh, really really bad and I wasn't even playing bad football. Pavlidis to Fortunes, perfect pass to Pavlidis. Makes it 2-1, so you think, well, maybe you can come back from this. Uh, I can think Pacasetas takes a distant shot, just goes wide. You think, why you try a shot like this? Because I've been scoring goals like this all the time. Okay, with better players, but all the time, balls flying in. So I thought maybe I can do it with him too. I couldn't. Neymar all alone, 3-1. You think game over now. There's nothing more to say. He gets a penalty. 100% a penalty, Socrates with a very stupid tackle and Socrates was really one of the worst players in this team and yes I know I have a bronze right back but he was actually better. He takes the penalty kick with Fernando Torres, takes a while, can't save it, puts it perfectly into the corner. I keep on attacking because why not, Bacasetas, bit of trickery, loses Varane, crosses the ball in, can't reach anyone but Pavlidis is there. Makes his second goal of the game and 4-2. So comeback is still on, especially when we do this a bit later. Bakasetas gets fouled by Varan, I think. It was Varan? Yes, it was Varan. He gets the yellow card for it. We get a penalty, which will put us perfectly back into the game. I take it. I miss. Great save from his goalkeeper. Probably not the best penalty uh, I've ever taken. Fontas to Pavlidis. Perfect pass to Bakasetas. Great dribble and great shot and 4-3, we can still do this, come on. Bit later, a lot of trickery again, Bakasetas who was really, really good. Great cut inside, bit of trickery to get the ball on his left foot and it's 4-4. We came back, we were down and out, but we came back. But then he subbed on Demon Season Haaland who doesn't need any room and he makes a pretty good goal. So a 4-5 for him, completely undeserved I feel like. Pavlidis gives the ball to Pacasetas, can't finish, and then the rebound Donis, who I subbed on because he's the only Greek player on my bench, can't finish. Donis again, can't finish, and this was also offside, so it wouldn't have counted anyway, even if it went in. He kicks the ball out, and we lose the game. So pretty, pretty bad that we lost, but great comeback. I'm gonna make some changes to the team, and then we'll play the second game. The changes to my team are pretty obvious, Socrates is gone, I'm gonna put Manolas in, actually just paid 7k for him. Gonna switch out the right back for that Liverpool left back, gonna change my CDM to a uh, other CDM that has way better stats than him. Uh, and then I'm gonna put some Greek players on the bench that I can actually use to sub on, so that will make a lot of difference in game. There's someone like Palkas who has 4 star skill moves and such. So we go into the game, we play against this opponent, this is not a great team. It's a pretty good team, but not a great team. He makes a very stupid foul with uh, Müller. It was on my half, why do you tackle like this? Red card, which will make your game incredibly difficult from then on out. Pavlidis, great tackle. Great 1-2 with Fontas. Finds Fontas again, and that's a goal. So we're 1-0 up, and that's basically all Pavlidis' goal. So really, really good. Second half, Pacasetas on that left foot of his, that's a blistering shot and we're 2-0 up. I thought he was going to quit here, he doesn't do it, 
Then I uh, give the ball back to Bagacetas, makes a goal, 3 0 up, and now he does quit, which I understand. Uh, he wasn't really in the game, so uh, why not? But because this was a rage quit, I uh, decided to play one more game. My final opponent using this team, I can't understand it. I sent him a message if it was a challenge or something, he didn't reply. So very early 1-0, I thought he was going to quit, but he subbed on Laurent Blanc, team of the season Benzema and team of the season Lewandowski. Doesn't really matter because uh, we make it 2-0, uh, because we get a penalty, which is obviously not a penalty, not in a million years, it's not even a foul. But uh, I'm not going to miss my penalty this time, I've learned uh, a thing or two. Very close, but I don't miss it. So we go 2-0 up. We uh, keep on going, uh, sweat it, okay, Pavlidis makes it 3-0, thought he was going to quit, but then starts one of the weirdest sequences ever. Benzema gets about Lewandowski, that can always happen, it's team of the season Lewandowski, pretty good goal scorer, then Benzema makes it 2-3 just before the half, which was uh, kind of crazy. We go on the attack, I subbed on Palkas, who does some great dribbling right here, loses this man, loses another... Can't finish, ball goes against the post, but pretty good. And then Lewandowski makes a 3-3, which was very, very bad for me. I don't know what's happening, I felt like I was running into mud. Pavlidis can't finish, great save from his goalkeeper. Also probably should have tried a different kind of shot. But Pavlidis makes his mistake good by heading it in. 3-4, that was a very bad English sentence, I'm sorry for that. We keep on attacking, Pavlidis gives the ball to Funtas. Found us, I don't know. 3 5. We're going to win this game, I hope. Then he gets the ball with Benzema, dribbles my entire defense, makes it 4 5. So pretty crazy. I can't stop him. And then this. Caicedo is through on goal. I take him out. I think, okay, I'm just going to take a red card. No stupid business. I get a yellow. I even press pause to change formations, but I get a yellow card for this. Just pretty idiotic. Fontas, he thinks I'm going to waste time, which I'm never going to do. Palkas, Fortunis, shot gets blocked. Pacasetas is there, makes it 4-6. And this is all the game had to offer. We win, but what a weird game. Like I said, I sent the guy a message. He didn't reply yet, so I don't know if he was doing a challenge of some sort. But kudos to him, who was actually really in this game. So yes, the challenge was a success. You can win with a full Greek team. In weekend league sometimes you need to get lucky that uh, you come across an opponent like this but for the rest I mean as you can see I was dominating the game just missing a lot of stupid chances but this was really a lot of fun I never have a ton of fun in weekend league because it's mostly very sweaty but I really enjoyed playing with this team but that's going to be all for this video hit the like button if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys next time bye